about to head out for a little uh, rip around the trails here pretty close to the house. Earlier just got in, got up here from Florida, so I'm gonna go for a little ride on the Maverick. Take it outside. So there's that. There's all this stuff. You got um, all your little charging cords. You got your micro USB. You got your lightning plug for Apple stuff. Old Apple stuff. Uh, what else? So you can charge it in your vehicle. Obviously, you probably want to do that while it's running. <laughs> and then what's this? All right, so if you want to use... Um, I don't know, just any car style DC outlet, you can use that as well. But uh, all right, let's go outside and try this thing out. I got it all hooked up. There it is, positive and negative. Let's see if this thing starts it. So. We got it. That thing was so dead too. That's impressive. Let it sit for a little bit, unplug it. idle for a little bit definitely impressive i don't think this one would have got it although this is a really good one as well i'm going to put the link to all three of these in the description um and also thank you to both of you the companies that sent me these because uh they're really handy you know they're they're actually something i i use quite a bit and it's not just me saying that it's very useful all right guys so i think i found the other reason my batteries are dying my new set i just got died again so <laughs> um i think i've kind of narrowed it down to the glow pro glow plug module um i checked the code i'm getting that code that the module is out or you know i'm getting this 6070 code so what i'm thinking is um it's pulling a lot more amps than the alternator can put out while i'm driving the truck so i think it's running the battery down while i drive the truck so not necessarily while the truck's parked. Um, while the truck's parked, the draw looks to be about where it should be. And so what it was showing is I think it was like 0 0.07 something. And it was, you know, not, not enough to really drain a battery in a couple days. So, um, yeah, I think that's the culprit. I'm about to order it on probably Amazon or something, the new module and try it out. I'm up here now. Um, I got this thing running, just kind of checking voltage minimum when I start the truck, see how low it gets when I do start the truck. It is coming back good. There's the new module right there. The old one is right there. Um, I don't really, I can't really test it with this meter because if it draws over you know, 20 amps, it overloads this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and see how it does. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do another um, parasitic draw test and see what it uh see what it comes back as when the truck's all the way off make sure there's no draw again just to make sure and then let it sit overnight see what happens tomorrow hopefully it's still good 
Alright guys, so here's my... Noticing a pretty steady uh, voltage right now, which is a good sign. Uh, at first I was showing, before I put this module in, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't show in this high, you know, and I was also getting the uh, trouble code up here. It would never show up on the dash, but it would show in the diagnostics here, trouble codes. I just cleared it accidentally. There's no, but when, even when I would clear them, like I would go to read them again, like right afterwards, and it was our, I mean, it was within seconds it was back. And uh, it looks to be like it's gone now, which is good. Uh, like I said though, uh, being in Florida, I don't really need glow plugs, but um, I, I believe, I, I really do believe that that module was drawing a significant amount while the truck was running and you know it was basically outdoing the alternator and so it was killing my battery and you know you don't really think of that you'd think maybe your battery's dying overnight while it sits but um you know I was running the the parasitic draw test with that little multimeter right there and uh, I just did it now and I was I was in the 20 milliamp range which is nothing you know um, that would take forever to, to kill these batteries with that with that draw so um, I think it really is that uh, I think it was the module I really do and I will keep you guys updated for sure I'm about the module on Amazon for like 120 bucks pretty expensive but definitely worth having you know if, if that ends up fixing the problem then then it was I gonna stop moving this <laughs> Waiting for that Pitman arm, so my steering box is like free moving down there. Oh well. Um, Waiting for that to come in. I'm thinking about doing all new Pitman idler and uh, even tie rods. Um, I have all Moog XD um, Pitman and idler with the Kryptonite, I think it's Death Grip, and all those supports on them. And my tie rods are Kryptonite as well. Pretty big, bulky stuff. My tie rods aren't showing any play really. The boots are kind of blown out though. So I don't know what kind of damage they have in there. Probably a lot of sand and mud in there. So I don't know, I might just replace them. All right, let's check it one more time. No codes, so we cleared the code. I got no codes in this whole truck. That's pretty pretty impressive. This truck has never given me any issues. This is like uh, just kind of a pain, you know? And, and I think I didn't really notice this too much in Florida because I drive the truck so often in Florida that I wouldn't really notice um, my battery's dying because I drive it every day and so it wouldn't really die overnight It would die within like three four days or three days of not driving it. So I think that's what happened I think I just didn't notice it and uh, being that I'm up here in Michigan. I, you know, I drive the Maverick I drive my parents Yukon and stuff. So um, and It was happening up here. It was, it was more obvious because I didn't drive the truck as much. So I think we fixed it Ultimately, you don't want to see your battery uh, you don't want to see your battery below 14, I would say, if it's at, at idle. You don't want to see it dropping either. Um, that means that means your alternator is getting outworked, and I think that's what was happening. I think I think that module was drawing some big amps. I think it was drawn. It had to have been drawn over 150 amps, I think, because the uh, alternator puts out 145. So um, I think that's what was doing it. So I'm hoping. I don't. It could be something else. It may come up, and it could be something else. But you know, I cleared the code. And it's weird that that would do that, but the very well could it very well could be that. So I think we got it, guys. Um, I am gonna, like I said, keep you updated later on in the week. Uh, I know this videos, these videos are kind of all over the place. This one's gonna be everywhere. I promise. <laughs> I'm doing my best to get you guys some some good footage. A lot of you guys want to see the X3, uh, a lot more trail riding stuff like that, which I enjoy that the most, especially while I'm up here. In Florida, I like doing a lot of more installs on the truck and, and doing that kind of stuff. But when I'm up here, I like good trail riding, off-roading, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to still do some off-roading this summer once I get the Pitman arm back in. But um, I don't want to go too hard up here. i got some pretty good things in the works when I get back to Florida for the truck. Pretty big changes. So definitely stay tuned. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Mostly to do with the X3, kind of going over some things. A few other little... Uh, products I got that I want to show you guys so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video all right so here it is 50 inch curve they come with a harness uh, I won't be using this harness because that's the switch on it I'll use this for something else I'm gonna be using a I have another switch somewhere on here 
it's a, one of those rocker switches and it like I showed you it goes perfectly in the, on the dash on that thing so that's what I'm gonna be using so not, not a big deal but I'm gonna fly and pull this and bring it over there I think I'm gonna use this harness as a uh, this is a mix tuning harness <clears throat> um See, it's got the rocker switch. I don't want to use the little push button one like this. I'd rather have a clean install and be able to just put it right in the spot on the Maverick. So I'm going to use this. Using that bag. Um, alrighty, this thing is basically as clean as it's going to get for now. But um, I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna use, these are the mounts for that light bar. Let's see what we got. <coughs> All right, so they're basically gonna mount like, I believe right here, pretty much go straight up. The bar is gonna mount right there and go across. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with a 50 and uh, at least get it mounted and then I'll worry about wiring it here in a little bit. This is probably going to be the worst part of this. It's just removing the seat so you can gain access to this panel. Uh, I can see it's got, they already have the pre um, accessory power in here, which is easy. So I don't have to run to a battery and it's got switch power and then, you know, battery power there as well. So wherever that harness is, it, yeah, it's in there. So pull 19 millimeter bolt down here and here. Um, 13 millimeter nut and bolt on this side, that side, and now I got to pull off the seat belt strap right here. Just pull it through there, and the seat comes out. All right, so I have. There's the wire. Here's the harness. There's the old switch I'm going to be using. I just have it sitting here, make sure everything's working. So this bottom one right here is the accessory power or switch power. So when, it, when the machine is on, the power's on, uh, this supplies power. This is straight battery power. So there's always power to this one. And obviously this is the ground. So I'm gonna be putting in new ring terminals on these so it fits these properly, this one and this one. And then, then the easy part is just running the wires, zip tying them out of the way and cleaning up that. I'm gonna have to drill some stuff real quick, but it'll be easy. So, go ahead and get it done. All right, guys, here's the uh, light bar. Oh my God.